What up, David here with some hell of a boss. This is season two, episode nine, Apology Tour. And speaking of apologies, I am sorry. I actually took a week off. And I know this episode came out like literally as the day I was leaving, basically. But I just did a ballet retreat for adults. You know, it was beginner, intermediate, up to advanced. And it was actually really nice. I needed a week away from, like, not this, but more so work and everything, because the stresses have been mounting up, and I, I kind of unplugged for a week. I was planning on getting some video stuff done, but I, it ended up being a very distracting week, so I made a ton of fr new friends, and it was awesome. But I'm here, I'm back, and I'm feeling rejuvenated, so let's jump into this episode. Again, I'm really sorry for taking so long to get this out. I have been wanting to go back into this, and I have not forgot about the shop breakdowns either. I will be revisiting those soon. Just bear with me as we get things rolling. But first, we got a new episode. Let's jump in. And yes, it's still me. I swear. <laughs> Alright. I've been excited for this one. I've heard that good things are going to be coming out of this. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. I was hoping my lack of ha-has in response to the photos you sent would be an indicator I didn't want to talk right now. Oh, come on, Stolas. Oh. We just had a rough night. Besides, you always want to hear from me. <sighs> Blitz, what is it you want? I want to feel like I'm earning my way to Earth. Okay, so get your tight feathered ass out of that lawn chair and into the bedroom so I can fuck it. Wow. Poetry. <laughs> I'm sure such a statement would have had me swooning by now. Uh, I, sh yeah, sure. That, okay, that was a shitty way for me to say it, but you usually like it when I talk all dirty and fucky and shit. <laughs> Come on, we don't do words. We do sex. As shocking as this might seem, Blitz, Aww. I don't think I'm in the mood to do sex with you. In fact, I don't think I'm even in the mood to do words with you. So how about you... The way he turned around me? before oh, was on, awesome, Stolas, by the way. can't mean that. Head and body. I love seeing this. Seeing you right now is hard. I don't want to feel worse than I already do. It's bad enough. I got an invite to this anti-blitzo party. An honorary <laughs> invite for being your freshest ex. Anti-blitzo party? Who the fuck's behind this? Damn. Oh, it's entirely immature. I'd never indulge this nonsense. He called silly. himself Real Blitzo. <laughs> Real fucking classy. Kind of them to invite me, though. It might be rude not to make an appearance. Verasica. <laughs> of course, that fucking bitch. I will say... It's rather concerning you have an entire party devoted to hating you, though, Blitz. Oh, please. Everyone hates me for shitty reasons. In the end, everyone's just bitter. They couldn't tie this ass down. I'm too much imp to simp. You really think that's the reason? Uh -huh. yes, sir, they couldn't handle that I moved on. Oh, so you're used to being the one who crushes others' feelings, hmm? If by crushes others' feelings you mean in shit before it gets serious, then bingo! I'm doing everyone a favor because relationships are boring. Oh yes, very boring. Huh. So what are you doing here then? <laughs> For you to realize how good an angry fuck would be right now. Get out. Right now. What? I'm tired of this. I'm uncomfortable with how you're speaking to me now. Oh, come on, Stolas. You can't tell me this isn't a fantasy of yours. You want me to show your rich, princy ass what a real fucking is. Stop it. Ha! I'm right, aren't I? You get off to getting plowed by people you look down on. I don't look down on you. How many times do I... Ha, when have I ever... You speak just like that vile striker friend of yours, the one who tried to huh. kill me and you couldn't be bothered to come help me. Remember him? Hey, well, I do not sound like... I, and I didn't know he was capable. I, I stopped him the first time, didn't I? The first time? Yeah, the... Oh. He didn't Oops. know. I, uh, no, who said that? I... You knew someone was trying to assassinate me? No, I, I stopped him. And, and I really didn't think you could actually get hurt. You, you're immortal and shit. You're a, you're a fucking prince. Huh. If me and my team could kick that guy's ass that easily, then I'm sure you'd have no problem. I suppose you are right. Silly me. It's not an imp's place to protect a Goetia, is it? And there it is. Took you long enough. That's all you were waiting for, wasn't it? For me to play into this idea you have of me that I'm this prince who thinks he's so much better than you. Well, I don't. Why would I allow everyone to see how much I like you? How I've tried so fucking hard to spend time with you, to support you? You don't owe me those things, but you can't just ignore all that. You know, Stolas, I spent the entirety of this oh, morning this is hitting listening me. to love ballads. And 
That was still the gayest thing I've heard all day! <laughs> Jeez. Do you feel any kind of remorse for what you do? Have you ever even apologized once in your life? Oh, you think I can't apologize? For what? You want me to be like, oh, sorry this entire time. I assumed the worst because I was convinced the prince could never love someone like me and I let my self-hatred stop me from apologizing to anyone I could never care about. Well, yes. That. <laughs> well, fuck you. I can sorry the fuck out of people. Just you <laughs> want. Go to the party. I sorry Fizz so hard he cried. And I can sorry more people. Everyone but you. Because I don't owe you dick. Everyone but you. Oh, he, they're mad. They're both mad. They're both hurt. Oh, that was such a good scene, though. Damn it, sorry, I, I'm not reacting. I'm doing a bad job reacting, because I'm not talking. Apologize to the people I fucked with. I mean, how many could there possibly be? Go to the party. Southern bitch. Yes? Oh. It's you. Hey, Martha. Look, I know we killed you in the past, but I just wanted to say no hard feelings and offer this. <gasps> Martha? Oh, these two? Yeah, that's fucking right. I knew she would come back. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> the Dahorks, him. But are these real apologies or are they just to make him feel good? So right now he's very aggressive with his asaris, and he's not talking. He's not commuting, or commuting, communicating. He is commuting. <laughs> oh, these guys. That was cool. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> all right, and now on to the exes, who are all in one place. <sighs> Yay. Okay. This party's gonna be interesting. Hey, buddy. You know where 666 South Maple Avenue On is? Earth? Down that way, demon dude. Sick costume, bro. Hey, happy Halloween. Oh, looks like you missed some makeup there. Thanks. It's my face. It's my burn. <laughs> so this is in... Wow. They're on Earth. Oh, s stole this land. Great. So, this is going to be interesting. The one day a year the spirits can rise amongst the living and it's spent celebrating mutual pettiness. Oh, yep. what? Oh, nothing. I was talking to myself. Cool, man. I wish I was you. Oh, is it Halloween or something? Okay. Hey, there's there's our there's our girl. So how did they know? I guess social Dear, media. Baby, you holding up okay? No, I'm fine. I felt it rude not to stop by. I don't get invited out much, but I really shouldn't stay long. Well, I'm glad you can make it, honey. Uh. -huh. Well, this certainly beats the last Earth party I attended on Hallow's Eve. Oh, hell, the demon prince. <laughs> I was told there would be cake. <laughs> they summoned him for this. <laughs> That's hilarious. You want to slice it? Oh. I like to start at the neck. See. Or the dick. Stole this? Right. Nobody wants his dick anyway. Stole this isn't into all this. I think I'm content without slicing any of it. Well, live it up, baby. You are with friends here. Fuck Blitzo in the fucking ass. That's awful though. Like to have a whole party dedicated to your <laughs> Hatred. <laughs> he clearly did something wrong with her. And it is a petty party. A petty pity party. Wow. Have I fucked this many people? Christ <laughs> on a stick. I should start keeping count. I didn't even get his name. Sorry for the comment I made at your sister's wedding, though she did deserve it. She's a whore. Sorry for fucking your mom, though I thought it was your dad. Damn. He's got balls to show up to this thing, though. <laughs> He did it. Way to go, Dennis. You fucking suck. 
Yeah, you suck, Dennis. Oh, Dennis. And these are people who know his his real name, Blitzo. I wonder if his sister's here too. Oh no, gosh. Not really, um, uh, I really shouldn't. Tell I... us all about your experience with Blitzo, the cock sucking motherfucker. Come on, baby. Damn, Verasica. We all here know how you feel. Um, oh, uh, um, a song. I let you get too close. Another ballad. I let it go too far. <laughs> I forgot his name. Vortex? Tex, yeah. <gasps> ah, it's my girl! It's Kiki! She's the best! I miss her. <laughs> well... Now, will he get to apologize to Verasica too? Because he clearly did something wrong with her if she's throwing these things. Rocking those bars, though. Oh, the visuals rock! <laughs> the fact that Tex is on board with all this, too. I'm guessing she found out through social media that they broke up. I mean, I guess everyone knew they were together because of what happened at Ozzy's. Oh, that was beautiful. Also, I'm gonna guess Fizz used to go to these. I'm assuming Fizz used to go to these parties as well. At least he's feeling things. Oh, that was awesome. I love red and black imagery in Thank general. You. What do you want to do? Oh! Hey. <laughs> Blitz! What are you doing here? You're lucky everyone is drunk or you would be murdered right now. <laughs> ah, no, it's good. I'm in a disguise. He's... Wow. I've never seen you throw him back like this. Shit face. just to judge me, is that it? No, I just... This was the final stop on the apology tour I've been on today. Oh, yes, I recall. Everyone but me is getting your cheap apologies tonight. Hmm? Well, you certainly have your work cut out for you. Look, how I acted this morning, it was fucked, okay? This morning? 
Oh, why did you show up there? Why did you show up here? You already asked that, but look, I, I just really need to to talk to you, to, to explain. Oh? He's drunk. I've always been real shit at saris, okay? They're for pussies, and no one fucking deserves them anyway, but I felt like maybe you actually needed one. Oh, lucky me! Oh, shit. Okay, what I mean is, I said sorry a lot today, and honestly, didn't really mean any of it. Because the only one I wanted to say it to... Knew it! ...was you, Stolls. I just... This whole thing we had going... I, I mean, you're a fucking prince. How could you ever actually care for an imp? Me. How could anybody? Blitz, there is a crowd full of people here who cared so much, they throw an entire fucking party about hating you every year. Do you know how much you have to care to do something as stupid as that? Yeah. Ellis, you are better off without me, okay? You deserve so much. I don't even know why you would want to be with me. You want to know what I want? I want to know what it's like to not be alone. I want to be someone's someone. I want to feel wanted. Yeah. But like, in a romantic way. Like, I'm standing out in the rain at a train station, and someone is shouting, Harriet, don't get on that train. It's going to London, and I cannot be without you. <laughs> oh, Stolas, that's a rom-com. Oh, fuck you. The point is, I just want someone to care if I stay or go. I want someone to want me. To want to see me. It's a real feeling. Me, look at me and think, well, you're the only one I want. I desire to hold you and talk to you. Never let you feel so. You, why are you here? I don't want you here. Go home, please. Let me not feel so sad. <laughs> hey. Oh, uh. hello. Great song earlier. You have great pipes. Thank Damn. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sings fantastic. We're talking here. Well, I just wanted to see if maybe, I don't know, you'd want to dance. You want to dance with me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do what you. Okay. Do what you wanna. Ah. Uh, he, tr he tried, but it's it's not the time. Even for you, Blitz. <laughs> so let's Stolas get his thing on. He's also way too wounded right now. But this this looks important. Hey, Burr. So, an apology tour, huh? Burr. You got a lot of balls coming here, Blitzo. Yeah, I know. Everyone here hates me. Yep, that's the point. Dumbass. So what, you're waiting for your sorry? Oh, fuck you, you little prick. Well, I'm sorry for always telling it like it is, sister. <laughs> well, I'm just being honest. I'm sorry for dumping you. Sorry for not falling head over heels for you or that guy or fucking Dennis or, or anyone at this stupid fucking party. Oh, you are so fucking shitty. Do you hear yourself? Everyone's shitty. Hello, we live in hell. Why am I all of a sudden the bad guy just for sucking at relationships? Are you expecting sympathy? <laughs> oh, poor Blitz. Finally having to own that his actions affect other people's fifis. Bitch, please. Oh, this is real. How do you think I felt when the fun guy I was dating decided to just bail on me because I made the shitty mistake of saying I love it was the most embarrassing feeling to be vulnerable for once and you really just know how to send a message in the shittiest fucking way I the believe it part is you still make me feel like a bad person for being angry at you now but hosting this party for everyone else you've dicked over, at least I can help others cope with the shit you did. <sighs> what? No snarky comeback? No. You're right. I actually am, you know, sorry. I, I, 
I don't want to be this way. Mm. Not forever. <laughs> Damn. Looks like Stolas is having a good time. <laughs> that well, he needs it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, fun. Oh, a really good time. <laughs> oh, that bird stealing cockpit. <laughs> Hold it, Blitz. You know, if you want to change, it just starts with saying, Good for him. Hope he gets laid. <laughs> Here, have some cake, fuckwad. So yeah, I can see why Blitz being the person he is resulted in that interaction between him and Ver. I like that name for her, it's cute. But it's cool to see, like, him actually start to feel some remorse here. Like, genuine remorse. It's been a lot of sorry, not sorry. And at this point... Yeah. And yeah, it hurts. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of empathizing pretty hard with Blitz in this case, because I've admittedly done, like, a lot of non-perfect things in my life, and I've rubbed people the wrong way. And... But I, I mean, I also feel for Stolas and Verasica too, because I've been on that side of the equation as well. It's a, it's a very, it's a very human, it's a very human episode. It's a really good one, really well, well written one. Damn. It kind of brings this whole question, you know, like what makes an apology? What makes a genuine apology? And you know, not, and also it gives that whole sense like not everyone's gonna forgive you either. And it starts with saying, sorry. Like clearly he, he broke Verasica so much that she threw these parties to give somebody else some closure and she still feels a lot of guilt about the relationship even now. So, oh, that's so sucky though. It sucks for her, it sucks for him, it sucks for everybody, you know? So, yeah, this one's a lot to chew on. And I'm not gonna lie, it kinda like hits me at a certain place, like, I, it wasn't like a breakup, but I also had like a, a recent thing where like, a friendship kinda fizzled out because of communications issues between me and this individual, and I certainly was in the wrong for a good chunk of it. And the whole time trying to like communicate and to some degree over communicate, Gentlemen I think actually ended up pushing the person away a little bit more. Sorry to get like so real all of a sudden, but you know, it's, it was like the more I, at least in my case, the more I tried fixing something and, you know, trying to like, you know, get the relationship back, the more it kind of made things tense. So Long story short, this person drew boundaries, and I'm trying to do my best to honor them because we run in similar circles. But, you know, uh, I personally tried my best to apologize for it, but I think time is going to be what's necessary. As it kind of was in this episode, it seems like everybody just needs time right now. Like, Stolas did not want, did not need to see Blitz right now. But here, Blitz shows up and just, like, made Stolas, like, you know... It just wasn't the right time for him to talk, especially he was drunk as fuck. This relationship that Stolas is having with this random imp, uh, sorry, this random succubus is just like a coping thing. And I think it is good for Stolas to kind of get his mind off this. And it's good for Blitz to kind of confront his own demons and get a sense of this. So I think that conversation he had with Verasica was, was very important for him and his development. So anyway, I'm going to end this off here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, Fill in the Blanks and Auto Limits, for supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next video, as well as the shop breakdowns. Now, this is Dave out. Peace out. Later.